All right, so welcome to How To Dino. And in this video, we are gonna go over how to customize your very own premium bot. So this was a feature silently released by the Dino team. Uh, unfortunately, this is a paid feature, but I will nonetheless go ahead and show you guys how this process works. So for those of you guys that have purchased this, this will be a little tutorial on how to set up your custom premium. And then for those of you guys that are maybe considering it or are just curious about the feature, this will be kind of like an overview. So if you're interested in acquiring the new feature, head over to the Dinobot website, dinojet.gg, click on this get premium tab. And as you can see, off to the right here, we have the custom premium. So essentially it is the regular Dino premium, but you have the options to upload your own custom avatar, your own custom username, and your own custom playing status. All right, so to get started, we'll head over to Manage Servers. We will click on this Premium tab, and then for those of you guys with the sharp eye, this private Premium tab is fairly new. We will get to that later in the video. So to get started, once you have purchased the custom Premium bot, go ahead and click on this button that says Configure Custom Bot. I will now go ahead and demonstrate how to get the information for these two fields. So to get started, you want to head over to the Discord developer portal. I will provide a link in the description. I will also provide a link to the wiki page on how to set this up as well. So let's head over to the developer portal here. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and create a new application. Name this whatever you like. I'm going to name this How To Dino. Go ahead and accept the terms and then hit create. All right, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and click on the bot section here. Let's go ahead and hit the add bot button. Go ahead and hit the button that says yes, do it. And now we have created our bot user. So in order to change the username for the bot as well as the avatar, you can actually do it from this page. So right now our current username for the bot is how to dino. I'll go ahead and upload an avatar here. Once I'm done, I'm gonna hit save changes. And now before you leave this page, there's a few other settings that we need to adjust. So if we scroll on down, this option for public bot, you can go ahead and disable this since this is gonna be a private bot. And then we're gonna go ahead and enable the OAuth 2 grant, as well as these privileged gateway intents. So we're gonna enable all three. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit save changes. All right, so we're not quite done yet. So first we need to grab the bot token in order to paste it into the Dynabot website. So we'll go ahead and hit this reset token button here. Go ahead and hit yes to it. And since I have 2FA set up on my account, I'm gonna have to enter the code. So you should not be sharing this token with anyone. So once you have the token, go ahead and hit copy. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste this into the dashboard. So now that we're here back in the dashboard, we're going to go ahead and paste it. And as you can see, Dino does a nice job in hiding that token for us. Next up, we're gonna grab the client secret. So now we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the Discord developer portal. Click on OAuth2. We're going to go ahead and hit the reset secret. Go ahead and hit yes to it. And since I have 2FA enabled, once again, I'll have to enter this code. All right, once you have your secret, go ahead and hit copy. Once you've copied the secret, go ahead and paste it into the Dinobot website. So now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and paste the client secret. Hit next. So we've already done this part, so we can go ahead and hit next. And now we have to copy this interactions endpoint URL. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. To copy it, you can go ahead and hit this little clipboard here, and it should copy to your clipboard. Once you've copied it, let's head over back to the Discord developer portal so we can paste the link. So now that we're back at the portal, if we head over to general information and scroll down a little bit, there is this field here where we can enter the endpoint URL. So let's go ahead and paste it here. Once you paste it, go ahead and hit save changes. Next, we're going to need to copy and paste the redirect. So before we go back to the website, let's just go ahead and get this page ready. So let's head over to OAuth2. And then as you can see, this is where we're going to add the redirect. All right, now let's go ahead and copy this redirect and paste it into the developer portal. So now that we're here, we're going to hit add redirect. Go ahead and paste the link. Once you're done, hit save changes. Let's head back over to the dashboard. Once you've done that, hit done. Now we're gonna go ahead and select our subscription. So we want to use the custom premium subscription and then select the server you'd like to add the bot to. So you can actually type in this field. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in how to dino. 
And as you can see, I have a few servers related to that, but I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. Once you're done, hit activate. And now with that, I have a pop up here. OK, so right now what you're currently seeing is the pop up window here. So this is after I hit activate. I know I got the error there, but I'm supposed to go through this. So we want to go ahead and hit continue. So this process is actually going to physically add the bot to the server. So we're going to go ahead and allow that and hit authorize. Let's fill up the captcha. All right, and now that we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of this. So since we've already activated this subscription in my server, I'm now getting this uh, error message. So this originally happened because I had that pop up block, but I can assure you the custom premium bot is in my server. So if I go ahead and close out of this and refresh this page, as you can see, I have this new subscription here indicating my custom bot. So if I ever want to invite this bot to another server, I can copy the invite link here and go ahead and paste it into my browser. This change premium bot doesn't really apply to this since this is your own custom bot. So this will change the avatar to one of the default icons here. But the whole point of getting this custom bot was to pretty much upload your own. So this doesn't really apply to this bot as well. And then we also have the option to deactivate here. So now with that said, if we go into our special private premium section, you can see we have the option to actually restart our bot from here. And then you can actually see the playing status from here as well. So let's go ahead and hit edit bot. This allows us to directly change the username from the Dinobot website, as well as the playing status here and the avatar. So instead of doing that all from the Discord developer portal, you can actually do that straight from the Dinobot website. So there's two ways to do it here. I do recommend doing it through the website so that it's easier to track. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add to this playing status here. And I'll just go ahead and add how to Dino here. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. All right, and since I've gone ahead and edited my playing status, it should automatically update in Discord. So just give it some time. Uh, there's no need to restart the bot. It should, once you hit that save button and give Dino some time, it should go ahead and update the status. So that's essentially the custom premium feature here on Dino. Let's go ahead and switch over to Discord just to see what it looks like. All right, so now that we're here in Discord, as you can see, we have our custom bot here, how to Dino, and then we see our custom playing status as well. And with that, we have this nice how to Dino role for the integration. So keep in mind, this is Dino Premium, so you will get all of Premium's commands with this. So if I run who is, As you can see, it works like normal. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.